Hello and welcome to a little late April MTs. I was a little bit sick, so I couldn't get this video up in time, but here we are. So there's several things that I want to go over for this month. And the first few things are going to be things that my husband decided to contribute for this month. So he was using this bubble purifying collagen foaming cleanser. He wasn't a fan of this, so we probably won't get that again. This is the Canyon Nordic Elements Air Cologne. He liked this. Um, but it's really hard to find. I think I saw it on Amazon and it's pretty affordable. So we'll probably get that again. Since my husband didn't like that foaming cleanser, I did give him the Herbivore Pink Cloud Creamy Jelly Cleanser. He really liked this and it did help him with his skin breakout that he was having with that previous cleanser. So this might be a repurchase for us. So the rest of these items are going to be things that I used. So we're starting with the From Nature Aloe Vera Moisture Soothing Toner. I really like this and I do find it to be super hydrating and soothing for my skin. So if I could find it again, I would absolutely purchase it. Next, I have the Herbivore Nova. This is the 15. 15% vitamin C and turmeric um, moisturizer. I like this. I probably wouldn't get it again though. It's not a favorite. On to the Lush Toil and Trouble Body Scrub. This is actually a violet jelly scrub. Um, it has little bats in it and it's super cool and I love it. <laughs> and I have another one in my shower currently. I would buy this again should it come back next holiday season. The KB Shimmer Manny Shot in Barely There. This one was just okay, but I prefer their scented ones. I use this as part of my nail care routine before applying my nail polish, and I love it. I probably will get this again, but in a different scent. Next, I have the Herbivore Moon Fruit. This is the Retinol Alternative. I think it's Bokuchiol. I think that's how you say it. I probably wouldn't get this again. I have a few more of these sample packets, but not really impressed by it at all. Next is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Facial Cleanser or Face Cleanser. Um, it was okay. If you have sens sensitive skin and you don't like fragrance, um, this is perfect for you. It's unscented and it's okay. The Fenty Skin Cherry Dub Facial Scrub is divine. I probably will purchase this in a full size, but I've got plenty of facial things to go through, but I absolutely love this little sample size. I've talked about the Bath and Body Works hand creams on my channel before. I still have a couple left to go through, but I have the Happy Easter and the Vanilla Buttercream currently. Um... This vanilla buttercream, I love it, but I think it's a little bit staining. Um, you'll see it in this Happy Easter here shortly that it's not yellow. And I think, of course, it's due to the ingredients, but um, they're okay. I just think that the packaging is just a little too stiff for me. This is the Baroness X Acetone Antidote in the scent, a wild passion fruit. I love this stuff. Um, I actually have a few of their other scents, but I would get this every single time. I love it. Not new to my channel, but I have gone through a second bottle of this. This is the Hello Good Stuff Milky Face Moisturizer from Essence. I bought a, a stock of this on Amazon, so done with that one. Love it. Disclaimer, this product is a PR gifted item from Nailtopia, the sea kelp ridge filling treatment. The cap is crumbling. I just put this in a different bottle, but this is pretty much done. I didn't realize how many Herbivore products I had, but anyway, this is one of the other products I have from Herbivore. This is the Phoenix Facial Oil. I love this. It came in a trio set. Um, amazing. I would probably buy another small size of this because the larger size is very expensive, but I like it. This is the Lay Lift um, eye cream from Chanel. This is a sample size that I got 
about two years ago with a purchase. Um, I like it, but I don't need the full size of it. So I have several uh, scented items that I went through this last month. So the smaller pieces here, this is the Floral Street Wonderland Peony. I had really hard time with these um, sprayers. So anyway, this is the MFK um, Oud Satin Mood. Love it. I would totally buy this again. Uh, another Floral Street in the Wild Vanilla Orchid. This wasn't my favorite, but yeah. And lastly, another Floral, floral Street Arizona Bloom. This one was the best. Um, but again, the sprayers on these bottles or these little travel sizes were horrible. Um, next, I have the Seven Virtues um, scent. And this is just a travel size or a smaller size, whatever these things are called. Um, and this was the Cherry Ambition. I like this, but I don't know that I would get it again. Uh, it's a maybe for me. And the last one is the Five Cents Catch Feelings. I like this too, but again, I'm kind of on the fence of whether I would get this again. There are three items that I am going to be decluttering. This first one is the About Face Eye Primer. The brush on this or the wand got wonky and it's kind of a little bit oily. I think it still works, but I've had it for at least over two years at this point. I can just get rid of this because I don't really wear eye makeup that often enough at this point. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I've had it long enough and I think the wand on this actually pokes my eye and it hurts. So I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I don't want anything that hurts me. Um, and then this is the ColourPop uh, eye gel liner. It broke when I tried to apply it recently. So I don't know if it's just dry or if this was a common issue with this particular product, but um, I just don't need it. ColourPop's products tend to do this often for me, even their lippies, but this is the ColourPop cream gel liner BFF. And this was in the color charmer. So that is it for me. Thanks. Hopefully I can get another video up next month.